that you may have seen elsewhere on these pages talk of sudden stratospheric warming or SSW and how it's influencing the weather across the United Kingdom and perhaps is responsible for the current cold spell. Well, it's not just the United Kingdom that SSW can have an impact on, and it has turned quite a lot colder across the United States. Temperatures well below average in California and Las Vegas. But the cold air hasn't reached all of the United States yet. I'm showing you the satellite picture because this line of cloud is uh, significant. It's a weather front, and it marks the boundary between the really cold air, which has already arrived across the west, and the relatively mild air across the east with high pressure just off the eastern seaboard. Warm air is getting pumped up this weekend from the Caribbean all the way up to the far northeast and temperatures are significantly above average. But we do have this weather front not far away. I say it marks the boundary between the warm air and the cold air and it also provides some pretty wet conditions moving up through the Great Lakes and some heavy snowfall for a time on Sunday across parts of eastern Canada. There's evidence of the warm air. Temperatures in New York shouldn't be in double figures at this time of year. That is above average and significantly above average across the Carolinas, down across Florida too. You'd expect it maybe to be pleasant enough in January, but temperatures of 27 degrees Celsius in Orlando, that really is quite high for the time of year with some sunshine. We are going to see changes, however. We'll start to see this area of orange, this uh, warm air getting squeezed over the next few days. As that weather front moves through across the northeast, the blue colours spread further south and eastwards. We are going to see temperatures getting back closer to average in New York, closer to freezing, and they may well drop further because this area of dark blue across the far north, that is Arctic air, and that may well plunge much further south across Canada and the United States during the week ahead, bringing the threats of a big freeze and some heavy, heavy snowfalls. We will, of course, keep you updated on that to keep a close eye on it. And if you do want more information about sudden stratospheric warming or SSW, look elsewhere on the BBC weather website.